today is March 22nd. This is Floss Tube number 15. I'm Casey. And I'm Dara. And we are Southern California Stitching. So we're back. Bi-weekly, but we're back. Um, as you can see, we don't have a quilt up. We actually have happy birthday signs. Every year for the kids' birthday, I decorate our kitchen table area. It's more of an eat-in nook. And so I try to decorate it for the birthdays. And this week is Troy's birthday. We celebrate all week long. Um, so yeah, life. Life has happened. I have taken off my Girl Scout outfit. And today I'm gonna to put on a baseball hat because it's baseball season. That's where we're headed in just a few minutes. <laughs> okay, so let's start with last week. Last week, mom sent that exchange to her partner. Her partner loves it. Her partner's name is Nancy. Nancy is now an official follower of our YouTube channel. Hi, Nancy. Sampler exchange Quaker is what she sent but you know so this is what I got the way that it works is that you get someone and someone completely random gets you so you don't know who you're sending to nor who's sending to you until the item gets here so this is what mom's partner sent oh sorry guys it's set up the wrong way um, this is what mom's partner sent to her and then and then she also sent this came in the inside of it a little ornament oh wrong way and then also, she sent her a felt strawberry. I'm also sorry for the lighting. We're filming during the day for the first time in a long time, and the sun is out in California. It's 70-some so, degrees out there. So it's a little <clears throat> different. Camera's backwards. We're all right. She sent me this. She also sent the Gold Collection Petites Seashell Treasures. See this? It's kind of a cool one. And she sent yes. also sent her this with the linen and the floss to go with it to complete it. How cool is that? And then she sent me chocolates, but they didn't make it. She ate them. And oh, your um, Biscornu. Okay. Because she also did the Biscornu one. Biscornu. Biscornu. Yeah. She also did the Biscornu exchange, and she got one from like again a random partner that she didn't know until it got here. So let's see that. And we will put their names underneath so that you guys can start following them if they have YouTube or Instagram because they are also stitchers. Okay, she sent me this it's kit. Hey Chicky. <laughs> and this one was um, your area. What, like if I see it, I think, oh, they're from the Carolinas. Okay, so remember back last week, you, mom was making the turtles. That is a very Southern California thing, especially the Mojave Desert. We have the desert tortoise. So mom's partner is from North Carolina. So she sent that. And this is the Biscornu that she sent me. And her name is, oh, she's from Riley, North Carolina. Yeah. And the, look at the corn, and it's acorns. Con, and the reason it's acorns and uh, oak leaves is because it's the city of oaks. She's from the city of oaks. How cool is that? So mom's partner made her this. And this is full of taffy. She sent North Carolina taffy. And, and garlic th grits. I've never had grits in my life. I have never <laughs> had grits either. In fact, I didn't know that they came not in a box. <laughs> so garlic cheese grits. This is what happens when two California girls get a package of grits. We don't have to make these and see how they taste. Have you ever had grits? I've never. I've had oatmeal or a cream of wheat. And is that like a grit? Um, I don't know. <laughs> so we we'll keep us first. posted. <laughs> we'll keep you guys posted on what grits taste like when you're not from back east. <laughs> okay. And then she also sent her a magnet, North Carolina magnet. How cool is that? Yes. All right. So and those, thank you. Yeah, those were cool exchanges. Um, next thing, the B sal. Again. A lot of progress, a lot of people on the b Sal having fun, um, been following on Instagram. So what are you doing? That is her Instagram name last week, last video rather. We tagged her and she was so excited because she's famous. Well, guess what? We are doing, what are you doing? We just wanted to give you a quick shout out and say awesome job on that b Sal and keep up the progress. Yes. She will also be at Stitch Nanigans. Mom's going to Stitch Nanigans. All the peoples is going to Stitch Nanigans. <laughs> I'm actually considering going more as a go hang out with my mom and her. So let's see the progress on your B-cell. 
So this is where mom's at with her bee cell. I, you got the bottom done. I got, I believe this, the and bee? that, yeah. and I'm Cross starting there. that, yep. and I, I got this thing right here done. So you've got some progress on the old bee cell. Bit. Awesome. And Deb from uh, Stitch Harbor, excuse me, Snug. Snug Harbor, Stitch, everything's Stitch right now, um, from Snug Harbor is ready to start this one. I think she wants to make it part of her March Madness, or the where you start stitching. May? May. <laughs> no, March Madness is basketball. Um, the May stitch along where you start one a day. So that's going to be kind of cool. Okay. Um, also, because I have this like fangirl issue with farm girl right now. So giddy every time I see her goats. Um, she will also be at Stitch Nanigans. So, and Lisa Smith. I wonder if she could like us. tuck away a goat in her bag. I know because I'm not bringing one home. I would totally show up for a goat. <laughs> okay, so yes, Stitch Nanigans if you're going. I'm slightly jealous. Um, all right, next thing. We're going to move on to laying around the house because it's sitting here. So mom has been with my grandma today, and so she brought something. Now my Aunt Frances made this for her. So my Aunt Frances, this would be my grandma's sister. Hello, Candy and Frances. And um, Troy. Oh, and Troy. Hope you got your sweatshirt and you like it, sir. Um, she crocheted it, and it is a crochet ball holder. holder. So you put the ball inside of it. And then the string comes outside. And so. And then you hold it in your arm. When you have it on your arm, you just go to stitch. town, right? Yeah. How cool is that? Well, we have a question for you guys. Since Nanny actually used it, instead of using it as a decoration piece, it has a stain on it. Small stain right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. How should she clean it? Do you guys have some um, suggestions on how to clean it without really affecting the stitches in any way? Or changing the color of it so if you guys could tell us a suggestion for cleaning this that would be wonderful I'll take a still shot but how neat right then it opens up like this. so that was something I had laying around my house well around nanny's house okay so we have to leave right now to go to the game. So we'll finish this up when we get back. Bye. <laughs> we're back. Yeah, we're back. It's two days later. Um, it's a t-ball game, so nobody won. Everybody's a winner at T-Ball. Everybody's a winner. Okay. So when we left you two days ago, we were talking about things that were laying around my grandma's house. So I actually have a couple more. My grandma is right here. She won't get in the video, but you want to tell everyone hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so she brought a few more things that I thought I would share with you guys. So first we have sock darners. Um, she asked my oldest daughter what she thought they were. Uh, Nitty, are they maracas? <laughs> so, little sock darners, super cute little faces. They are. And then another one that's um, very variegated. How old do you think they are? They're older. We know that. Okay, so there's a little something. Then, we're pretty sure that we are related to the building company that sell, uh, does the spools of thread. So, we have some vintage thread. And I'm going to show you the ends of them. This one here is a, what is this? Bees waxed cotton? I think they used to boil. I think they used it to um, quilt with. And okay. it's already waxed. That sounds about right. If okay. anyone has a different idea of what that is, let sure. us know. Okay, and then we have knitting and crochet, Pier. This one's kind of cool. It's from River Massachusetts, Fall River, Massachusetts. <clears throat> so here's another one. That looks like embroidery thread. Mm -hmm. And then this one's a Clark's crochet cotton. So there's that one. Um, if you guys hear, we do have the babies here today. One of them, here's one. There's Tizzy. And then, I don't know where yours went. Mine's hiding oh. behind there. Okay, there she is. <laughs> but we have another special one before I get back to Nanny's things to introduce you to. 
<clears throat> this one's mine. <laughs> her name is Britches. Don't forget the R. Um, when we named her, we didn't have kids that talked. My oldest was like maybe a year old. Yeah, it's kind of nice when the three-year-old forgets to pronounce the R in her name. <laughs> so anyway, this is my dog. Her name is Britches. So, okay. Back to this, but if you hear them, that's, that's what you hear. Okay, so then we have an old needle holder. There's that. Got any information on this one? Um, it good. just belonged to Grandma. The needle holder? Probably. Okay. Then we have an old <clears throat> thimble. It's a really old thimble. It's like super light thimble. <laughs> it's probably because Grandma used it so much. All right. And then, last but not least, we have a question for you. So this little thing, we know it had oil in it. And then when you take it apart, it actually has a pin in the top. Get a little closer to you. Do you guys know what the pin is used for? Let me put this one on your shirt. To drop it. Oh. To draw. Drop the oil. To drop the oil? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so if you guys have an idea of what the pin was used for. It had oil in it. But what's the pin used for? Let us know. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. We also noted, you don't see this very often these days. It says, made in the USA. Super tiny little oil can. Okay, all right. Oh, and then the hoops. She brought over some embroidery hoops. Check these bad boys out. How old do you guys think this one is? Is it wood? No, it's, oh, metal. it's metal. Yeah. I don't even know how you get them apart. You just pull them. You pull them. Mm -hmm. Do you? Mm -hmm. Just pull them? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, and they have like cork in them. Mm -hmm. Oh. So something kind of cool. She had a handful of these at her house as well. Now how do you get them back together? <laughs> All right, so there's that. Something Nanny had laying around her house. If you guys do know what the oil can needle was used for, let us know, that would be awesome. Do you have any FOs? I do, I had two of them. Ooh. Oh, no, I have FFOs. FFOs, okay, yeah. do you, you have FFOs? But I had to send them off, they had to be there last week. So, we'll insert pictures right here. Uh, it's what I, uh, my exchange, what I finished for my exchange. She finished. That finished project she sent to a lady that she doesn't know. That one. We talked about her a little bit two days ago. Um, but she was super excited. Who wouldn't be? I mean, it's a finished pro. It was framed. All she had to do was nail a frame or a nail in the wall and hang it. It was fun though, cause, and I have it kitted up to start because I want one too, because I'm going to have a sampler wall. I don't have the patience right now for a sampler wall. <laughs> it's awesome, they're awesome to look at, but that's some work involved. Okay, so then you, that was your FFOs. How about FOs? Um, do you have any FOs? No? No. Okay, how about whips? Yes, I have whips. Okay, do you want to show yours first? Sure. <laughs> My big massive whip. Woo! This week, I don't know if you guys can hear mom's chickens, but they must be at the back door saying hello, because I can hear them. Um, anyway, here she is. I put the shadow on Eve, <laughs> Ave, Ava, wherever you're from and however you pronounce it. That's all I've done the last two weeks. That's it. Yeah. Kep is beating me in the sewing race. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so... This one is a Plum Street. It's called Grace on, no, Grace on the. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a sampler. Well, this one, um, I'm in a. Oh, look how teeny tiny. I think it is. a block of the quarter or every quarter. Oh, look, at look at how little these are, guys. And so I started this one. So a block a quarter means what? You do one one little block? No. Yeah, they send out every quarter they send one. Oh, so this is part of the, <clears throat> the blocks? The, each one's different. Oh, that's kind of cool. And is yeah. it all patriotic? I don't know. Oh. It's just everything's different. And I'll put the link right here. Okay. All right. What other whips do you oh. have for this week? And then I've been working on my bee sow. If you guys have not checked out hashtag bee sow, you do need to go out and check it out. There are a lot of women joining us for the bee sow, and 
there's some amazing work. I'll post some pictures here in just a second of what we have coming up. Um, here's the progress mom has. Oh, we showed this. Yes. We sh we? Yeah, we talked about your B-cell. But oh, okay. it's part of her whips. She's working on it. So here it is. We're almost there. There's the B-cell. If you have not bought the pattern yet, you need the pattern. There it is. Okay, what else you got going on? As far as whips, whips go. How about your stitch nine? How's that coming along? That this, one right there is in my stitch nine. The the B cell is. Yes. Okay. And Hawk Run Hollow's in it. I haven't even gotten that one out. I'm here. We are here at Mom's today, and I brought my little houses because I want to make kits. And instead of going to Joann's, <laughs> you just go to your mom's, right? She has everything Joann's has. <laughs> so I'm going to shop her stash <laughs> and make kits for my little houses um, that Lisa had gifted me the little set because I really want to get it started and now that I've seen her this Plum Street sampler on this size and it goes this way right yeah. I think I want to make a little one I like the little ones are they hard? is this one over one no it's one over two but it's on 36 count is it linen yes maybe I'm kidding okay so then, we'll see. When I get off, we'll see. I got Nanny here. Nanny can give me some inspirational talk. Maybe I can do linen. You can. You've been doing linen. Snug Harbor does linen. I don't like linen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so then, um, before we go to coming up, we're going to talk about the quilt that's right behind us. Okay? Tell us about this week's quilt, Mom. <laughs> you can't tell she's excited, huh? This was her very first quilt. My very, very first quilt. I was young. Um, I'm not even sure how old I was. You were out of high school. Yeah. I wasn't married. Well, you got married at 20... 21. So somewhere between 18 and 21, <laughs> I made this quilt. And it is made from reproduction um, gunny sacks or flower sacks. And yeah, I will do some still shots of it so you can see it. It's um, a really cool pattern. You made strips. And then you cut them up into squares and then yeah and i really have this thing with vintage 1930s colors so that's this week's quilt okay what else we got coming up what do you plan to work on well i'm going to work on the b cell and I'm going to work on the um, Plum Street. Okay, so back to the sampler. Grace on me. And the B cell. And then... You gonna start something new? Well, I think so. Uh-oh. I one, got this. This is another block of the month or... Jack Frost Tree Farm by Diana Williams. I've seen a lot of people get theirs done. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I have the dear. linen. And the, all the threads, so I'm ready to do that. And now that one. And then in my exchange, I had received. Oh yeah, this one. We showed this we showed earlier. it earlier. And then I have all the stuff to go with it. So I believe I'm going to start that one. Okay. Have a haul. Yes. I got. I really like this prairie schooler. It's. Um, they're stitching and quilting, I believe. The and Needle's I... Eye by the Prairie Schooler. Okay. And I subscribe to the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. I don't I know if I've shown either one of those. I haven't seen them, so I'm guessing that's a no. And here's the other one. Okay. And I went online and got 2011s. So are you collecting the Christmas ornaments? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, Lisa and Terry and I are going to start exchanging ornaments for Christmas instead of trying to come up with something That'd to buy fun. each other. Then the sampler needleworks. And then... I so then this one is Ah, uh, My Little Scary Scaredy Cat. This one's super pretty. I want that one for um, Halloween. So and I'm planning on doing Halloween 2020 or 2025? <laughs> Probably 25 because it's... I Look, think, it's a full coverage yeah. looking one. But I think what I'm going to do is on really, really big. Oh, like an Ada square? Well, no, like, I, what, 20, 25 count, and um, use it for the center of a quilt. Oh, okay. 
So what else we got? I got from, I can't see, Needle Craft Corner. She sent me my linen of the month, and oh. it was wrapped in this oh, and cute. tied with this. It was so cute the way she did it. Yeah. Um, and she also sent us floss bags, or sent me floss bags. When I say us, she shops at my house, so I assume us. Mm -hmm. True story. <laughs> and then uh, 28 Count Lugana. And it's um, called Highland. Highland. It's more of a blue-green with a hint of yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Blue-green, hint of yellow. Okay. Yep. And then I, if you remember last time I showed you that I got punch needle patterns. So I ordered... Another. Punch needle, okay, and then bigger hoops. This one says Twilight by Charlotte Dundee, and it is punch embroidery needle miniatures. There's the pattern. And I got another one that has three in it, so if that one doesn't work, I'm sure the next three will work. Okay, what else you got? And um, that's it. All right, well, I have not bought anything. So, um, some shout outs. Oh. I would like to say thank you to Lisa from Kindred Stitcher. Um, I have a good kid. She's willing to help <laughs> anyone that needs help. Yep. So thank Definitely. you for shouting her out. You know, as you guys know, I love to help the kids. I, I love kids. I do. Um, I'm big on inspiring the Girl Scouts. But any kid, if you like to inspire the next generation. And, you know, if me shouting a young lady out on a floss tube inspired her to do more with herself and go and achieve that goal, then of course I will shout your name and talk to you. I'll even call if you want. Um, Girl Scouts, that's why I took on 30 of them. You know, usually a typical troop is 10. Um, so we go big or go home. I have a lot of amazing women that help me with these girls, um, but inspiration is where it's at. Yeah. So thank you, Lisa. Yes. Thank you, Lisa, for that, that awesome shout out you sent um, on your last video. Um, what else? Let's let's mention that apples don't fall far from trees. <laughs> and my mom and my grandma. I mean, some great inspiration. Okay. Um, can we talk about Farm Girl? And she oh. just had some new baby goats. <laughs> so some more new baby goats. Yes. Super, this little one. She had a itty bitty little girl, and it's in a little bucket in her house. And she said that it it gets like they let them stay for the day, and then at night she's gonna make it go back outside. So she was wondering, Michelle, if Sneak you one in your suitcase. <laughs> she Casey knows I'm going to stitch nanigans, and she knows you are, and she wants to know: Could you hide one in your suitcase and bring it to her? She'd be more than happy to pay for it. <laughs> My husband would kill us both. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> all right, I think that's it. Um, got anything else? No, that's it. All right. Well, we hope that you guys have an amazing week or two, yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.